when I was at City University of Canada, right. what, I, what, I, what colleagues and I did was we, we developed a counseling program at a master's level oh, okay. that was practitioner taught. So our focus was on educating practitioners. Right. Um, and uh, so we started off with six students, right. and there's now 400 students. And uh, um, we started off in Vancouver, and now there's campuses in Victoria, Calgary, and Edmonton mm -hmm. as well, 400 students. And then we added a Master's of Education program with a focus on school counseling. Mm -hmm. But we've always struggled with the question about what the role of universities is mm -hmm. in contemporary society. In addition to, you know, simply training and educating people and credentialing people, right. is there another thing universities should be doing? And we felt strongly that yes, that universities should be contributing to the pressing issues of the day, right. and universities should serve the community as well as, yeah. So, out of that right. came a vision that we call the Green Technology Education oh. Center. And um, the, the university, which is based in Seattle, you know, was a little too grandiose for right. their taste, so we spun it off right. and formed a private nonprofit society called GTEC. Oh, okay, all right. And so that's, that's where you are okay. right now as you're in the GTEC world, okay. um, Green Technology Education Center. Right. And share the three programs we're doing. Right. Ultimately, we're going to build a center, oh. an education center right. that will have education facilities, but also design and innovation studios and electric vehicles mm -hmm. and urban horticulture, mm -hmm. which we see as two critical areas where we need to innovate and educate.